Rihanna's pregnant. <laughs> you want to talk about anything appropriate at the time? Let's talk about it, dude. But that would, that would, would be probably one thing I would I would, I would have brought up either way. Uh, Rihanna's Fenty skin and that's his first exfoliant? Are you kidding me, bro? Oh, she shut down the roomies? Is Rihanna not pregnant? According to InStyle, Rihanna shut down pregnancy rumors in the most savage way. What? Rihanna's not pregnant? All right. So there's... Everybody thought... I See, this is what I hate, bro. I'm talking about another person's pregnancy. That's what I'm doing. That's what was probably at the time. That's what I'm doing right here. I'm talking about another woman I do not have in my life. Getting pregnant with a man that I don't have in my life. That's what we're doing, man. All right. <laughs> Enjoy it. Uh, Cause I thought it was weird, man. Like ASAP Rocky got the golden eggs of Rihanna last name. I don't even know her actual name, but she shut down the latest batch of pregnancy rumors after the tabloids began to question whether or not she was expecting her first child with boyfriend ASAP with a dollar sign Rocky, following an appearance in Barbados to accept her native country's national hero award. What, dude? No one talked about that. I'm talking about the national hero award. Rihanna. For the occasion, she wore a clingy orange silk halter gown. All right. So again, this is a a silk halter gown. Everybody got that? And and it's clingy a little bit. And, and the internet was like, "Yo, dude, does that lady have a person in her stomach?" And sleuths went into overdrive when photos emerged of the song she was placing her hands over her stomach, because you know. Women don't put their hands on their stomach unless they're pregnant. And men only put their hands on their Johnson when their seed has gone into another man. <laughs> Definitely said another man. Man or woman. Uh, yeah. Apparently she's not freaking pregnant. She still might be. Do I really want to rack my brain around if Rihanna's pregnant? No, I don't. That's not how I want to spend my days. That's not how I want to spend my days on this on this lovely podcast. I do kind of want to see what's up with this National Hero Award, though. She's not even wearing her orange silky halter gown. This is a, a, a white suit and black gloves. Uh, she says, y'all are the true heroes of Barbados. That's dope, dude. That's dope little Akon going on. A Bahan? Apparently they're Bahan. The people of Barbados. Singer and entrepreneur was named Barbados 11th. She's the 11th national hero. What are the other national heroes? How old is Barbados? <laughs> national heroes of Barbados. I think their their head person is a lady. Is it? Is it the prime minister? The country celebrated becoming a. Oh what? They're becoming. Oh my goodness! This is a lot more interesting than freaking if Rihanna is pregnant. They became a republic for the first time in history. So what's good with that? What's a republic mean? <laughs> Define republic, Siri. Here's what we got. We got Barbados national heroes, man. 11 people and Rihanna is one of them. We got... They don't even click Rihanna. They don't even have... Barbados.org doesn't have Rihanna on their their slash people slash heroes website it's not it's not good enough yet dude here's what we got dude. 11 people barbado national heroes the right excellent errol walton barrow right excellent sir grantley adams i'm not going to say the right excellent because it looks like a title they got going on it's it's pretty cool title i mean you got like lord and like kingship but you say hey right excellent over here and in a, in a Caribbean accent and tone, get out of here. Grantley Adams, Bussa, apparently Bussa, just just Bussa, just a uh, person named Bussa. Largest slave, largest slave revolt against the oppressive white planters in April 1816. Who are the white planters, dude? This is they got titles for days. White planters. If I if I was gonna call a group of people that were enslaving people and they were white, I would call them white planters for sure. He had been born at Freeman in Africa, captured and brought to Barbados as a slave. Didn't know when he was born, but he died in 1860. 
Sarah Ann Gill was a heroine in Not the Drug. Samuel Jackman Prescott kind of sounds familiar. Journalist, doctor of journalism, shout out. Frank Walcott, Dr. Charles Duncan O'Neill, Garfield Sobers, we're getting towards the modern day heroes, uh, Hugh Springer and Osborne Payne, people born in the 1930s, and you got almost pregnant Rihanna as your, your 11th hero, shout out, shout out Miss Fenty. Barbados says goodbye to Queen Elizabeth, transforms into a public, oh this is actually really interesting. Barbados stopped pledging allegiance to Queen Elizabeth II on Tuesday as it shed another vestige of its colonial past and became a republic for the first time in history. Several leaders and dignitaries, including Prince Charles, attended the ceremony that began late Monday in Popular Square, where the statue of a well-known British lord was removed last year amid a worldwide push to erase symbols of, of oppression. Fireworks peppered the sky. As Barbados officially became a republic with screens set up across the island so people could watch the event that featured an orchestra with more than 100 steel band players and numerous artists, including, I think, Rihanna. It was also broadcast online. I didn't know anything about the Bahan Republic. That's crazy. That's very interesting, talking about as markets go down, things are starting to get a little weird, it seems, that... A uh, a land is like, hey man, we're not down with uh, saying y'all are are chill with us anymore. It's very interesting. It also seems like a clean c cut thing there. You know, if they do some paperwork or what? Does does a does a land that says it's uh, under a vestige of oppression have to sign any? parting agreements with the people they say are the oppressors. Uh, the drive to became a republic began more than two decades ago. Okay, so maybe it's a little more a little more than uh, than paper you gotta do. Culminated with the island's parliament electing its first ever president last month in a two-thirds majority vote, Barbados Governor General Sandra Mason was scheduled to be sworn in before dawn on Tuesday as the island marked its 55th independence from Britain. Fit, what, you've had 55 independencies from Britain? Is that what I just read? Mason is 72. Served as an ambassador. There's Riri. She, she is, you know, to, to the tabloids, she does have her hands over her stomach. You know, I'm looking at the picture right now. And it's kind of weird that they actually did put a picture of <laughs> Rihanna putting her hands over her stomach. That's very interesting, man. Markets go down in an island announce it's, it's uh, dislinking from England. I'm assuming the Queen, Eng Queen Elizabeth of England. <clears throat> very, very interesting. So, you know, sh shout out pregnancies that leads you to understanding that a, uh, the country became a republic for the first time. That that's quite crazy, man. The prime minister made some jokes. Said shine bright like a diamond. He 